Hi everyone, it's Dia. Today I thought I would share with you my Filofax cheer folder. About a month ago I received an A5 Fuchsia Filofax in the original from the right touch and I've been using it as my cheer binder. After I received this beautiful planner, my next problem was what to put it in. I have a purse that it fits in but it's a little bit of a tight fit and I really didn't like bringing my purse to the field because sometimes we're outside and I would just kind of throw it on the ground and all of my stuff would fall out of it so I went on the search for the perfect backpack and I found one at Marshall's for under $20. Here it is right here. I just wanted a plain black backpack so that I could put my little bow on it and it would match everything and not get dirty. This backpack is perfect because it has this little back pouch right here that I'm able to throw my Filofax in. And I will open this up and just show you how I've set it up to show you, um, you know, how, how versatile these Filofaxes are and all the different things you can use them for. But before I flip the camera around, I just wanted to run something by you guys and see what you thought about it. I kind of want to start making some more videos that are not just about planning. My name is Eat, Run, Plan, Repeat. I do love to run, although I haven't run consistently since moving to San Diego. The struggle is real. We all go through it. I'm going through it right now, trying to find balance between taking care of the kids, taking care of the house, uh, managing my business, and the new added responsibility of cheer. I like watching other people's vlogs just to see how they kind of cope with everything and handle it and how they fit in their workout routine. And I also kind of wanted to hold myself accountable to somebody besides my husband and my kids. So I just thought this might be a fun place to maybe share my fitness journey that I plan to go on again. I was just watching some video that I found from a, a little over a year ago when we um, first moved down here and I, didn't realize how much more in shape I was at the time and how strong I felt and how much just watching myself on the video I could see how much more energy I had at the time. Back then I was doing beach body and we were living in a house and I had a whole separate spare room that I used to do my workouts in. Then we moved to San Diego and moved into a two bedroom apartment and we have downstairs neighbors now so doing a workout that you know, it incorporates a lot of jumping and pounding just became not a possibility anymore because my neighbors would hate me. We do have a gym, but I really don't like going to the gym. And I've decided my favorite thing that I've always felt fallen back on for years since I was in high school is running. And I really want to get back into running. There, are, The weather is perfect here 95% of the time and there are plenty of trails and uh, roads for me to run on and why i'm not taking advantage of that i do not know right now besides that i get caught up in daily life and just i'm not making it a priority so i didn't mean to ramble on about that but um, i am ready to kind of turn around my life again when it comes to fitness and the way i eat and I'd like to share that with you guys. If any of you are interested, let me know. Um, otherwise, if I should just keep this a planner channel, I can kind of keep things that way as well. I appreciate you guys watching though, and I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a quick look at my setup for cheer. Here is my Filofax Original in Fuchsia A5 size. As I said, and if you've seen my previous videos, I've decided to use this as my cheer binder to keep track of everything cheer. So I'm going to get to it and hurry up and open this up so you can see how I have it set up. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this set up in my pictures. I just keep a picture of my daughter in here with her favorite puppy filter, a paper clip that I got from Pigtails and Pockets, and this is one of the little coupons that I purchased um, in one of the raffles and I'm just keeping it there for now. And I'm using my Sharpie pen. At the front of my folder, I have a dashboard that I made over a year ago and I'm glad I didn't get rid of it because it is perfect for this folder. I found this saying on um, Pinterest and I thought it was perfect. So when I was first playing with watercolors, I painted a picture of a balloon 
and I scanned it, opened it up in Photoshop and put this on top of it. And then I printed it out onto vellum paper and laminated it. And I've just, I've had it for a while and I think it is adorable and fits in here perfectly. The first divider I have is my contact info. And in this section, I decided to keep a list of everyone's birthdays so we can make sure we celebrate those. Next, I'm just using the, let me skip to a blank page. I'm just using the contact sheets that came with my Filofax. And of course in here, I just keep the contact information of the parents and the cheerleaders. The next divider I have is the cheers divider. And in here, I just printed up all of the cheers that we learned this year and our competition cheer on half sheets of paper and hole punch them and put them in here. That's one of the things I like about the A5 size. You can shrink any, almost anything to half the size and print it up and put them in here. It's a little different when you move down into the personal sizes because you need to do a lot more readjusting and you can't just cut the piece of paper in half. You have to do a little more cuts than that to make it fit. Next is the schedule and this is where I just print out the schedule that we have online and put it in here so I have a hard copy of it as well. The next section is fundraising and I made this little pocket. I don't know if you've seen these, but when you buy a Filofax, it comes with these, um, what is it like? I, I don't know what it is, but it's this clear plasticky kind of paper. And I just got two of them, washi taped them together and cut the one in front, um, kind of on a diagonal and hole punched them. I don't even have this side taped together or anything. And I'll stick things in here every once in a while when I get money for, um, selling some of these raffle tickets, I'll go ahead and put it in here so that when I head to cheer, I can hand it over to the head coach. My final section is my miscellaneous section. And this is where I keep things like hotel reservations and blank pieces of paper. Um, there's, you know, sometimes where the coach will come up with some ideas and want to jot it down real quick. So I'll hand her this and she'll just jot things in here and then we can refer to it later on at practice. Also in this section, I keep this um, little folder that comes with the Filofax. I have a few in here because I've owned a few of these Filofaxes. And um, this one, for example, is just the information on one of the gyms by us, um, the times and the classes and how much the classes would cost. So for future reference, I have that in here. I also have some of our fundraising letters in here and some receipts for some of the competitions. So I hope that was a quick setup. I just wanted to show you guys another way to use Filofax and I will continue using it this way through the season. I am going to probably be making a new bill binder and I'm thinking about turning this into my bill binder for the new year since the cheer season ends right around the same time, but I'm not sure yet. And if I do, I'll make sure I show you guys that as well. I hope this inspires you to keep organized or gives you any ideas. If it does, go ahead and let me know down below. It keeps me motivated to keep making these videos. And as I mentioned before, if you'd like to follow me on my fitness journey, let me know and maybe I'll start recording those videos soon as well. Please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Okay, so this is me after my run. After I made the video, I thought that I'm done making excuses. I'm gonna be 40 and a little over two months, and I always said I would be in the best shape of my life at 40, and so far that isn't happening. So I decided to change things today. Um, I'm such an all or nothing person. If I don't wake up first thing in the morning and go running when I planned, then I tend to just not run for the day. So I finished making my video and I have about two hours before the kids come home and I need to um, do some stuff with them. And I started giving myself all sorts of excuses. I don't really have time. I'm gonna be sweaty. I already did my makeup. I already did my hair. And then I thought, you know what, just go do it, just do it. My, Nike is like one of my favorite brands and I finally decided to take its advice and I just did it. It was uh, because I live in such a beautiful weathered place. It says it's only 66 outside, but it felt like it was about 80 and I probably should not have worn pants. I should have worn shorts, but I did it and I never regret a run. So uh, hopefully today is the first day to being in the best shape of my life by the time I'm 40. So I'll talk to you guys later, bye.